Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Divinity Dragon Commander. Yeah. I am. Yes? I'm sorry, I interrupted. Continue, please. I am the Alchemical Rabbit. You started off really high pitched there. And this is Atoli. Hi, folks. Welcome back. Now, last time, I believe that we ratified the law of no homo. We did. Gay marriage is a reality. Woohoo! You've written history, Commander. Long have we elves fought what we think is an example is this of just because you want to see male elves boink. Has a monarch given us his public support? Yes. Bravo. Fair enough. At least she owns it. Really, it's I just want to. Oh, his heart, man! He's given out. I'm really the dwarf's sorry. heart. You're backing the fairies, are you? Both the elves. So that's racist. The other kind. Thin end of the wedge, if you ask me, Commander. They'll be marrying goats. That's not how that works. Alright, let's go to the bar, see what people have to say about it. I did it so that Scarlet here can marry whomever she wants to. Scarlet didn't ask to for gay marriage for herself. I know she didn't. She asked it for her like two friends. Thanks I know. again for passing that new marriage law, Commander. There are these two lizard girls. She strikes me as by not the moment the news broke. What a face we had. I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I like the delivery there. Yeah. I don't remember any of this. Seven save us from the dragon for where he, he has goes, no hips. Vice sprouts like He's bones. Corruption. Still have hip bones. Disseminates like a poisonous contagion. Guys have smaller Goons hip bones. Coveting not women as they not should. that small. Hags longing for anything but the male touch. Abhorrent is the hell you stage. Is that how they refer to men and women in the dead world? Tags and ghouls? Probably. My question is, yeah? if you are just really good at mimicking your voice as one of the undead, uh -huh. how do they tell which gender you are, assuming that the hips aren't, like, ridiculous? I just assume that much like the woman back here serving our booze, that all of the ladies have just melons and oh. apples and stuff in their bosom for boobies. Okay, fair enough. What a win you scored, Commander. He's really excited about gay marriage. Don't think that what he's that's what he's talking about. <laughs> Shall I, take my leave. I don't think that's what he's talking about at all. Last engagement rather decisive. Engagements. Death follows where the dragon drives. Is, is he I'm actually I'm I'm convinced that Edmund here is actually gay. I did it for him. Really? Yeah. I He's don't... so pompous, he just has to find some other male lizard that just, like... See, I know the sexualities of all the characters in this game, and I'm gonna tell you right now, Edmonton, I don't think is gay. Old Eddie and Hank, I don't think that's happening. Oh, I don't want him to hook up with Hank. Okay. That'd be weird. Just, just clarify. Commander. Every citizen in the realm pays taxes. True enough. Every industry does the same. But which is the one institution that escapes the tax man? Donald Trump. Way, the yeah. church, of course. Hardly fair, is it? So why not introduce a temple tax? Let every temple, church, and cathedral pay, say, a monthly fee as a token of goodwill toward the empire. After all, does not the church benefit too? from a strong and wealthy state. Well, it it does. When will that filthy dwarf finally pass a single day without resorting to sacrilege, base and vile? The Church of the Seven is holy, above such secular concerns as taxes. If you want yet more gold for the royal coffers, you had better look elsewhere, Commander. You know, you did promise the dwarves that the next thing that was for them, you'd vote for it. I... yes, I agree. I'm kind of inclined. And the church will just demand more of the public in donations. So in the end, who will really pay? The man in the street. And they give more than their share already. I mean, that's kind of a fair point, but... The Church but... of the Seven is one of the wealthiest organizations in Rivlon, Commander, and it's true, they don't impart as much as tuppence to the treasury. So first off, it's right, hardly fair. Okay, so she's for it. Temple tax, what a marvelous idea. Take from the Seven... The imps don't go to church to much. Falstaff's got it. The imps and the dwarves are agreeing. This is a rare day. Yeah. Oh, man. Um... 
are my standings at? Really low with the dwarves. Not great with the undead either, though, to be fair. I think I'm gonna... I can I can stand to lose a point with the elves. Mm -hmm. The imps and the lizards is just gonna go up, and I feel like I can probably recover from the undead more than the dwarves. More than the dwarves, ultimately. Very well. So I think I'm gonna go for it. Also means more money for me. Yes. Yeah. More for the imperial oh, armory. Yes. Oh yes, excellent. I will take care of everything, Commander. I'm sure you will. The river of gold will start flowing in before you know it. Okay, good job. Huzzah. Now, if you will make way for me. Of course. We have some research to look into. Do we have anything unlocked yet here? No, we are still awaiting there. So instead, we're going to head to the engineering bay, Grumio. Hi, Grumio. And we are going to look at what we could have. I could start going... Explosives on the Grenadiers would make them a lot better. That might be good. Also, we could make their range better. The range might actually be the better thing, because that'll okay. help with the um, turrets. Okay, cool, yeah. Other than that... What's chemical warfare? Chemical warfare... Grenadier chemical warfare. Um, so, what that is, is it shoots a... It's a bomb that does a damage over time. Oh, okay. That's you, cool. You believe I should get that, do you? Oh, no, I just wanted to know what it was. Also, we can do put make the troopers do suicide runs. Well, we don't want to lose them, though, right? I Probably not. I'm just putting that out there. What's the armor stuff? Short, sharp stuff, shock? Uh, armors create a massive shock wave that damages light units in a 400. So, I don't know if I activate these or they do. Oh, and anything okay. that's like a they have to... Um, Act, I have to activate uh -huh. has a low chance of happening. Okay, fair enough. To, to be completely fair, fair with enough. it. I am going to look into the anti-air turret because I am a little concerned we'll start running into air units soon. Okay. And we need turrets who can deal with that. Yes. So right now we're going to hold off. Okay. Instead, we are going to go to the map. Remember, can we check our standing real quick? It doesn't change until you, the stuff goes through. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yes. Um, real quick... I am aware of the fact that we captured their capital, so yes. I am going to hold off invading the rest of their for, territory for the time being, Okay. Uh, just to sort of generate a little bit more gold, Okay. is what I'm feeling. Do I have a card? No, no so, we don't have any I was cards. I was seeing if I had a gold production oh, yeah, card. I think we used one like a turn or two ago. Okay, I'm going to hold off because I just want to generate gold, Okay. Um, because I think the next part of the game is coming up now that I've taken that capital. Okay. Case in point. Oh. And so it came to pass that the Dragon Prince was initiated in the ways of war and caught the attention of his siblings. Whereas the Prince had been but a flea in his half-brother Carthan Axhand's coat, the dread decapitator now took Axe full hands. notice of what turned out to be a dragon, and so in turn did the others. Yes, it was in the heartland of Rivalon that the war would be decided between the last of Sigurd's children. Oh. Carthan remained a threat, as did his sister Sybil the Silent, who had cut out her own tongue a long time ago to stop the voices in her head from babbling. And then there was Faran the Fleshless, who was convinced he wasn't human at all, but rather an undead, which he would demonstrate by slicing the flesh from his body. Such was the crazed company the Dragon Prince would have to fight. Such were the terrors he would have to overcome. And the way he did so is still studied by all strategists in Rivalon today. What okay, was I have our three questions. Go, go ahead. Four questions. Okay. Um, why is he called Axe Hands if he clearly still has hands? He's just holding axes. Because they're in his hands, Axe Hands. Okay, that's stupid. If I play a piano, um, these are piano hands. Okay. Uh, two, why did our sister cut out her tongue if the voices are in her head? Well, because she hears voices inside of her head. They speak to her. They understand. She's not Randy Orton. <laughs> or Randy Wyatt. That doesn't make sense. Three, 
Why did our brother who's cutting off all of his flesh have a nose if he is cutting off all of his flesh? Well, because you don't cut off your nose to spite your face. What? Shakespearean lesson. Oh. Okay, but he's, like, you wouldn't have... Skeletons don't have noses. Like, it's just cartilage. So, like, he shouldn't have a nose. Because <laughs> he thinks he's an undead. What the hell was our father doing to create such crazy children? Maybe their mother was nuts. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Different but, mother. But, like, ugh. Battlefield moved to Heart of Kingdom. All uh factions rally behind the dragon. Emperor allows gay marriage. Corrupts the morals of the nation. Dwarves, elves, lizards, imps, and undead stand united. Emperor to guide all to victory. Size matters. Enemy researchers build impenetrable floating fortress. Imperial scientists stupefied. Imps lack inspiration. Imps copy enemy armor design to the letter. All quiet on the front. Oh my goodness. Okay, undead really don't like us. The dwarves are back up a little bit. The lizards really love us, yep. and the imps really like us. You're doing well with the lizards. Anarchy. Destroy a parliament. Okay, cool. I have news Whoa. for you, Commander. Okay. Grave, Max. Grave or gratifying. I'll leave its interpretation to you. The fact of the matter is your victories have gone far from unnoticed. That much you knew. But they have also gone a long way toward uniting a shattered realm. It has therefore been announced that you are to marry. For that Goody. will bolster the populace's spirit and cement your power as emperor. Soon the finest princesses in the land will be here, bidding for your hand in marriage. Yeah. A host of princesses, you say? This is going to be fun. I dare say it will. But do not please take this matter lightly, Commander. Of course, I hope your wife shall turn out to be a charming girl indeed. But this, above all, is a political bond meant to strengthen the ties between you and the faction she belongs to. Love, I'm sorry to say, has very little to do with it. But of course I may be proven wrong. Perhaps it is even best that I had. What if I want their princes? Why can't they parade their princes in front of me? N no one has any. No. no one has any princes? They've all just had daughters? Mm -hmm. oh. Because that would be a bit of an imposition. The decision has been made, you see. Matters such as these, even an emperor has to accept without remonstrance. Still, there are worse things than tying the knot, surely. Maybe that's what happened with the other ones. It was an arranged marriage, and she was mm. just, like, not into him. <laughs> and basically turned her children against him. Maybe. That would explain the uh, she's, killing she's the father. Cersei. She's well, Cersei. Commander. And while you fantasize about pretty princesses, I'll continue my studies. Grumio may find his inspiration in dreams, but I'll stick to books, thank you very much. A wizard likes his nose between the pages rather than his head in the clouds. Is that so? And Prospera. he walks away. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, Commander, but I've requested that a few of your generals should undo the havoc that has been caught by a group of lizard rebels. Do you have the money to pay them? These misguided souls have taken to the teachings of a cult that worships the so-called One God. The Red God? No end oh. Unrest where they dwell. Okay. I'm sure Henry and Edmund are the proper officers Why does she for the have job, boobs? wouldn't you agree? I don't know. They'll need to be They're also melons. How weird if must she look naked? Succeed. Probably really weird. Right? Alright, so she wants Edmund and Hank to go deal with things. I believe so. I have a feeling they're going to have some words about this. Edmund? Dear old lady, our Prospera, but it saddens me to see senility is taking hold. She actually wants me to work together with that barrel of gin they call a general. Could be almost comical if it weren't so gory. Okay, so he doesn't want to do Commander, it. Commander, a word in your ear. There seems to be a spot of trouble in one of the provinces. Some lizard rebel running amok. Not but a trifle that Prospera has requested us to deal with. But she wants me and Bloody Edmund to go together. Yes, he's a lizard too, it stands to reason. But the man's as pleasant as a cactus down your trousers. So if you don't mind, I'll go alone. Well, as this is a military matter, and these are your generals, I will let you make this decision. Ah, but you see, I have a very important piece of intelligence about this event. Oh. And that's that I've played this before, and I know what the correct answer is, so you must choose. 
Well, aww, but... <laughs> Tell me, do you, do you just want him to get the job done, or do you want to force them to work together to learn a lesson? I mean, they should learn to work together. The whole point of this thing is to unite the kingdom. That's a fair point. <sighs> okay. But what if it results in catastrophe? Then I'm blaming you for not making the decision for me. Practice? I'll be practicing Skittles with his balls before the day is out. You know that cold-blooded cretin annoys me to no end. I'll follow your orders, Commander. But we're supposed to quell an uprising, you Just know. Just cut off his tail. Not add fuel to the fire. Jesus. What? I'm sure it'll grow back. There, he's a lizard. He won't be able to walk. Also, oh, that's racist. He'll be fine. It's not a gecko. I think other lizards drop their tails. <sighs> very well, very well. So did I make the right choice? I can't tell you. Aww. I don't want to spoil things. Oh, why is this closed? Uh, because there are currently no decisions to be made with the council. Oh, okay. That th Those are only available when there's stuff to do, and this one's never been open. Grumio? Lovely to see you, my lord. You can get a bit lonely here on the engineering bay. Aww, does no one come and visit you? Do you not have friends? Most likely not. Does your uncle not come and at least say hi? Nope, not at all. We have now unlocked um, all of the possible things that we can... Uh, Oh, wow, okay, really? <laughs> yes. Including teleportation for the hunters. Oh, nice. Which, which we will, that costs a lot, though. <laughs> yes, we will be saving that one. We'll probably stay off of this as well. Okay. Um, what I think we're going to invest in in the short term uh -huh. is ironclads. Okay. Because, I, you know, to be a little spoilerish, I know that we have now expanded our world a bit. Okay. And we might need some ocean supremacy. Okay. Gladly shall I... So, looking here, we have now gotten... We can actually do all of the um, dragon oh, okay, cool. researches as well. I think what I am going to do... If I wait another turn, I can go ahead and hit Devastation. Okay. I might w wait and do that. Okay. That sounds good to me. Yeah, we're going to save Devastation to up our damage. Okay. So we can be a bit punchier. For if we now look at the map, we can see that the world hath expanded. Oh. Extensively. Wow. Also, in addition to that, our gold and research have now gone back down. Oh. So we are currently sitting upon elven territory. Okay. Near undead lands. Okay. Uh, notice very little undead lands here, though. Yeah, that's kind of weird. You see over here, we have a couple of dwarven territories. Yep. Um, most of the heartland is made up by the elves. Okay. The lizards. Uh-huh. And the imps. Oh, okay. Notice no human territories. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Why aren't there human territories? I don't know. So okay. we have a couple of transports. We have an ironclad and an armor down here. So, this is a research. That's a war factory. However, he currently has juggernauts and ironclads. Okay. So, here's the question. Do we immediately go for the throat of one of our brothers, uh -huh. who currently has a decent amount of defense? I don't, probably don't want to go there. Or, we can make way for the mainland, which is neutral and can be easily conquered. I feel like we should maybe make way for the mainland. Okay, we could do that. I mean, it's your decision because you. This is actually your portion of. The I know. Game, I'm just. I'm just talking it through, really. So I'm gonna. I mean, going with the imps may not be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Like going to their area just because. You know, they like us and. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Also, I want this war factory uh -huh, to so have more production. Yeah. Yes. Uh, also, we'll notice that this seems to be sort of the key area for the. Uh, for the imps, because it also gives three gold and two science. And there's a four science here. Okay. That'll Three science, one gold. But we really need more science and gold. Yes. So I think we're going to go for Starlington first. Because it also has a little bit of units. Okay. So all in all, if we go ahead and grab it, uh -huh. uh, we're going to go ahead and throw all of our troopers in and immediately make for that land. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave the armors here for right now to hold. Yeah, let's hold our, at least hold our one area that we've gotten. Yeah, I'm going to take this transport and move it in for transport next turn. This transport transport uh -huh. is going to... There's currently no transports on his capital. Okay. So he's not going to be able to move those troops for at least a turn. He does have an ironclad down here, which could become problematic. But I'm going to leave the transport here to just hold this ocean. Okay. 
Because you can use those to hold oceans. Oh, okay, cool. I'm then going to look at money. Money! Towards that end, I'm going to go ahead and build a couple... Like, I'm going to build, like, two ironclads. Okay. To start making a fleet. Um, I am then going to make three hunters. Okay. And a grenadier. That's for the pictures of it. Uh, Are you out of gold? I must be. It must be doing a small bit. So instead, I am going to go for one less hunter. Okay. One more grenadier. Okay. I'm going to go for two more grenadiers. Okay. So I can get that out. So that's going to go ahead and start building up our forces, and we use our transports to start moving into the imp territories. Okay, cool. Uh, and also we can start building the fleet of ironclads to start clearing these oceans. Yes. Because if we can clear the oceans up, we can move around a lot easier. Okay, All sense. right, folks, with that decision, before we go to the next turn, that's going to be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I have been the Alchemical Rabbit. And this is Benatoli. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.